mabuhay or in kapampangan luwid kayo. February is Black History Month and today's question comes from some of my own students. Kuya Kirby, who was W.E.B. Du Bois. William Edward Burkhardt Du Bois was many things. He was a sociologist, he was a historian, he was a civil rights activist. In other words, he was a scholar activist. He was born on February 23, 1868, and he is best known for being one of the founders of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People or the NAACP. He is also best known for being the first African American to ever earn a doctorate degree from Harvard University back in 1895. And even better, he was one of the most prominent scholar activists fighting against racism, strongly protesting against discrimination in education, against the oppressive Jim Crow laws, and against the gruesome lynching of black people. He dedicated his long life in the fight, in the struggle against the inequalities and injustices of white supremacy and imperialism. He made it his life's mission to liberate not just black people but all oppressed people around the world. In fact, he was one of the most prominent African-American anti-imperialists who stood up against the U.S. invasion and occupation of the Philippines during the Philippine-American War. He worked hard to expose the atrocities and the genocide American imperialism was unleashing in the Philippines. He was a prolific writer who used his many talents to raise the political consciousness of the people against racism, against the injustices, against the inequalities, not just in the United States but across the seas. In fact, in his historic book, The Souls of Black Folk, which I also quoted in my own book, he said that the problem of the 20th century is the problem of the color line. The relation of the darker to the lighter races of men in Asia and Africa, in America, and the islands of the sea. Clearly understanding that the injustices of racism, of imperialism, of white supremacy knows no boundaries. It respects no borders. And if you think about it, this is very much still the reality to this day. W.E.B. Du Bois passed away on August 27, 1963 at the age of 95 while still fighting to liberate oppressed people in all corners of the world. So if you want to learn more about the experiences and the solidarity between African Americans and Filipinos in the events surrounding the Philippine American War, check out the links below to get a copy of my book. Black Lives and Brown Freedom, Untold Histories of War, Solidarity, and Genocide. And that is it for me today. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to help me make more videos like this, show your support and please be my patron. Dakal pong salamat. See you next time. Or in Tagalog kita kits and in Kapampangan, Miki Tix.